Hey everyone, this is Shanta and today I'm going to do a flat twist uh, tutorial. So uh, for those who want to know how to do that, um, stay tuned. Now, I don't necessarily have the best parts. I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, when I started my locks, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't even think when they were first started by the, my uh, beautician, if she was really thinking about parts either. But um, it's never really been a big, big consideration for me. But um, for those of you who like, um, who will eventually like to do definite, uh, you know, uh, flat twists, corn rolls. Um, even um, like if you want to do a uh, ponytail straight down the middle like that, um, you know, you may want to consider um, how neat your parts are put in um, so that in the future, you know, if those type of styles are important to you, then you wouldn't be frustrated because you can't get um, an even amount of hair or you can't get it um, to look the way you uh, want, the, want it to look. Um, it's really not a big deal for me. I don't mind, you know, my parts not being exact or exact in a row, um, like box braids or things like that. So it doesn't uh, bother me at all. But if, um, so for the sake of the tutorial, though, you know, I understand that, you know, my parts aren't as, as straight as uh, other people's. And, like, for example, I have to show you on this side. Um, if I flip my hair over, over here is like well I guess it's not too bad over here either but it's you know it's it's well let me shut up because it's not looking too bad but you know well, I mean like right when you get right up in here it's not quite going on a row so you know if I was gonna flat twist my whole head that would kind of be a little special section right there but um let me get started instead of wasting y'all time rambling about parts okay so what you need to do is determine how you want them to go um, I'll start off with this row right here and you take the one and the one behind it and you twist them together and you go towards the back and then right at this point I've picked up another one and I'll twist a little bit more, then I get to another one. So now I have about three in this hand, two in this one. And I twist. And you're just picking up, you go along the line and you just pick up locks as you go along. And I should have brought something to anchor my hair with. That would have been smart, right? Uh, okay. I'll just use this for uh, demonstration purposes. Okay, so, ouch. Okay, so there's one. Now we're gonna do one right beside it. So we pick up this lock, and then we pick up the one right behind it, and we twist. And we keep on going. Until you meet another one, and you pick that one up, and you twist, and you twist. See, on that one, I didn't run into that many. Like at the end of it now, I only have two in this one and two in the other one. So, anchor that. I mean, I know this probably isn't the best of verbal instructions here with this. I'll try to see if I can get closer with the next one. And so this, this, I'll have to do like a a lock log, I guess is what they call them. I know they call them like V-logs, right? But I have to do like a lock log about my last twist set uh, so y'all can know what happened with that because I made a little bit of changes to the locks okay Let's 
see that? And then do this last one here. And I'm just twisting it until I get to another lock. Oops, oh, you're back here. Okay. missed one so see that's the one thing about not having your hairline in order let's see I guess maybe you could go down into this one not your hairline but your parts I see your parts okay so twist twist and when I get back to this one I'll pull him down or her I used to call them babies. I guess my locks aren't male or female, huh? <laughs> and twist. I hope I got some good angles in here for you guys to see what I'm doing. So there you have it, flat twist. Um, flat twist are a good, um, you know, accent for the front. Like if you're gonna do a bun, you know, it gives the front more personality, um, more style. Um, flat twists are good for. Um, mohawks if you're gonna do like a lock mohawk they could be your uh, instead of just sweeping the hair up you could do uh, flat twists going up to give it more character um, maybe I'll demonstrate that for you on this side so you can see what I'm talking about but um let's say if you were going to Maybe I'll do a front one. That might make it easier. Um, so you would flat twist up and you would just grab the hair up instead of going towards the back. And then bring it all the way up and then you'd have, you know, a flat twist going in that direction instead. Um, to make your uh, your uh, lock hawk, <laughs> um, but I'm um, having the uh, flat twist as a as like a transition, or you know, just just make something to make it um, a little special and a little different. Um, yeah, so I won't waste any more time because that's about it. Peace.